My name is Vithawat Tangtong Pairod. I'm now currently a lecturer in the university with two years of experiences. My ATC is a network training center. I would say that the CCT program covered the fundamental concept of the cybersecurity. It was a really good course because it provides a lab so that you can practice in the sense of learning by doing. But not only for about the lab and also the everything in the background that you need to know about the cyber security. This course covers many aspects from the policy down to the configuration. It is was a really good course. I would say that I would say the lab exam made me surprised the most. Basically, I used to have an exam with only the multiple choices, and we know that we cannot claim ourselves to be the good cyber security technicians with only the multiple choice exam. So, what is the c o n c e i v e attempt to do was to make the good. Hands-on lab exam, so you can demonstrate that you can perform some critical job duty within the limited of the times. There are about 85 labs, and the objective of the CCT lab cover in many perspectives, including the threat, vulnerabilities. You have to create the trojan, the virus, the worm, and try to send it to the other by using email. The network security control. You have to detect the malicious traffic in the network by using the Honeybot application security. You might have to detect the web application vulnerability by using the OWASP app, MVM solution for the mobile device security, IoT security, cryptography. You have to calculate the one-way hash by using the hash cow. Data security perform the this encryption using the bit lockers. Network troubleshooting. You have to use the Nmap for. Uh, troubleshoot the network problem, the computer forensics. You may have to acquire the LAM for the Windows workstation, capture and analyze the memory dumps of the Linux. That was just an example, and there are so many tools that you are going to learn from this course. The CCT program and the others, as I said, the CompTIA's plus cover in many overlap area. I would say the CCT program make the student well prepare about the 70 t o 80 percent for the CompTIA S plus because the CompTIA exam is 100 percent of multiple choices exam, so they do have more room to add the basic knowledge of the security such as the encryptions. But on the other hand, CCT program is well designed for the practical situation. You need to learn more about the hacking tools. The reconnaissance to the attacking tools. That what CCT made you stand out. Yes, I would recommend this course for the entry level because this course equipped with the basic knowledge and skill about the system, network, and um, data center, and it's also enable you to monitor, detect, analyze, respond to the encounter, the security threats. And no matter what your knowledge about the cyber cyber security is, this course will teach you from the basic fundamental to the mid level of the cyber security with the good hand on lab environment, perfect for entry level. The program introduces a variety of tools and techniques that you may or may not use for day to day job. But the good thing is that it covers in every single aspect for the cyber security. No matter what your current background in the cybersecurity is, this course will help you to be the good cybersecurity. I like the hands-on lab training. They had about 85 labs, and they were so good. The lab didn't go so much in depth, but they give enough information to know about the threat and to solve the problem in your real life. The course content also. Gave you a lot of the detail about each activity step by step, so that you can follow and be easy to learn. And even though some labs are not in the exam, and they give you some huge knowledge that you can use in your real life. Yes, I used to try the other certification course with hands-on lab as well. I would say that the easy concept is much better hands-on lab compared with the other. There is no any problem with the virtual machine that they provide. Everything runs so smoothly. The VM performance is very good. I had a bad experience with the other hands-on lab certification. I got stuck with 
the infrastructure problem so many times and make me annoy. And I had to restart the VM virtual machine many times. But however, this problem did not occur in the CCT lab. This was a good thing. Even I am the lecturer in the university, but there are some tools that I use for the first time in my life during the CCT course. This allowed me to apply my knowledge I had for practicing with the tools that CCT gave me in this course. And I would say that this one is the best card I had ever tried for the entry level certifications.